Here I've got a setup that's gonna let me get shots like this consistently almost every single time. So the shooting process is actually relatively easy. The tough part is just setting it up. So this gizmo here is the most important part to this whole setup. You can say it's what drives the whole setup. This is called the Myops Splash. It's this USB powered device that has an electronically controlled valve inside that very precisely controls how it drips water that we will later load in here. It also connects wirelessly to your phone via Bluetooth. That's how you control the whole thing. And it also has a shutter release that you will hook up to your camera. So it basically regulates that very precise orchestration that very carefully times your camera's shutter release to go off at the exact moment the water hits whatever you're wanting it to hit. It's a lot more interesting when you're actually watching it happen, so let's go ahead and set this up. Whoops, one hell of a time space. So of course when you go out and buy the Myop Splash, it doesn't come with a light stand, but it does come with this magic arm, although it will work with any ordinary magic arm. What's important is this little holder here that actually holds the unit in place. Let's fill that up with water. And let's try connecting it to my phone. It's using the MyOps mobile app. There we go. And connect. Let's test it. Hey, hey, it's working. I'm just gonna fill the bowl up with water. That's gonna take a while. And the comments are gonna be like, why don't you just bring the bowl to the bathroom and fill it up with water in there? Well, because I don't want to spill it all over the place on my way out from there. And I'm in an Asian household. And when you spill water on your Asian mom's floor, things get a little hostile. So what I'm trying to do is kind of fill it up to the brim. Actually, I'm even gonna let it overflow a little. So it has that surface tension thingy going on. So I get a clean shot. There's cat fur in here. What are you eating, Coco? Ah! He was trying to eat my shutter release cable. Okay, so we are shooting on a 5D Mark III. There's no battery in this. Anyway, I was saying we will be shooting on the good old 5D Mark III on the Canon 100mm L. So the setup here is camera, Myop Splash. The Myop Splash is connected to my camera's shutter release port. So when I trigger the water droplet using the Myop Splash app, this is gonna release a drop of water and then it's going to send a shutter release signal to my camera. So my camera is going to fire the shutter and this flash transmitter is going to tell this flash to go off wirelessly. So hopefully all of that is in sync. It's not gonna be in sync for the first try, which means there's gonna be quite a bit of trial and error to get the timing right, but this is how it's essentially working. Something like that. Now there is actually a second port on the Myop Splash and that's labeled as the flash release port because you can actually connect that to your flash's PC sync port. So instead of the Myop Splash triggering your camera, it triggers your flash to go off instead. So what you might want to do that is to eliminate shutter lag. Every camera has shutter lag, some cameras lag more than others. So by triggering the flash, that would mean your camera is probably in some sort of long exposure mode or bulb mode and your room has to be dark enough so the image is exposed primarily by only the flash. So what I'm trying to do now is get this to drop a single drop of water. We're going to start with a single drop. So I want it to fall from here into the bulb water and when it splashes back up, I want the shutter to go off. So let's try and do that. There's a few parameters in the app that allows you to control the timing of the drops. So you can actually control the drop size and the drop size is measured in milliseconds. So that's how long the valve inside there is open for. The longer the duration, the bigger the drop is going to be. So since we only want one drop now, we're going to go over and set the drop size of the second drop to zero so the second drop doesn't happen. And you can also set a delay before the Myop Splash triggers your camera so your camera goes off at the right moment of the splash process. So let's go ahead and test that and see what it looks like. Oh, that actually worked quite well. I just need to tilt my framing up a little and I gotta tweak my focus. Okay, so it's dropping roughly there. I'm gonna stick my finger in there and focus on my finger and hopefully gets it in shot. And we have a splash, but it wasn't quite what I was looking for. I'm gonna pull up slow motion on my phone and see what's going on. 
Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so it's going off too early. So let me set the shutter delay to 150 instead. Actually, I'm going to go with 170. See where that takes us. I think that's still too early. Let's do 250. There we have it. That's a weird looking drop. It's actually raining really heavily outside and we're indoors photographing water droplets. Hmm. So the shots are kind of working, but I'm not really happy with how they're looking right now. Simply because I don't think the flash straight off to the back of the bolt hitting it like that is a very interesting lighting setup for this particular situation. So let's see what we can work out. I've got a reflector here. Whoops. I'm gonna put the white side of this reflector behind this whole setup here. So it kind of functions as a backdrop let me just prop this up using a table that should work. So when I hit that flash onto that reflector, it kind of looks like a bounce setup, but that's not really what I'm going for here. I'm trying to illuminate that white background and sort of have the water droplets be silhouetted against the background, although water is transparent, so I'm not really sure if you can use the term silhouette, but you get the idea. So let's give this one more try. And that's looking much better already. Let me pull my focus slightly closer. Latte, what? <laughs> okay, Latte, you are an amazing cat, but I'm sorry. Okay, now let's introduce a second drop. What I'm going for is, first drop comes in, splashes up, and the moment it splashes up, a second drop collides with that first drop as it splashes upwards, so it kind of goes like, spoosh. So let's have 75, same as the first drop on the second drop, and a 100 millisecond delay, it's trigger. Definitely two drops happened, but nothing happened on the camera screen. Let's pull up the slow-mo. Okay, two things are happening. The second drop is colliding a bit late with the first drop, so we need to reduce the delay of the second drop, and the camera is firing way too late. So I'm going to set the delay to 80, and set the camera trigger to, let's say, 170. Fingers crossed. Still got nothing. The collision looks okay, the camera is still slow. So let's drop that to maybe 130. Okay, I think we got it. It's gonna be 125. There we go, that looks super cool. Let's try a few more because it splashes slightly differently each time. Ho oh, ho ho, check that out. Sweet. Whoa, that one went way too high. Okay, I think I'm gonna back my camera off a little so the framing is a bit wider and I get a bit more depth of field. Ooh, that one looks pretty cool. I mean, once it's set up, it almost looks too easy. You literally just press a button on your phone and you get a photo like this. By the way, I'm also shooting at f32. That is the smallest aperture setting on this lens. Reason being, I want to maximize the depth of field. Even at f32, I'm getting parts of the splash that are going out of focus. Let me just try and show you what it looks like if I shoot wide open at f2.8. Yep, that's how things look like at f2.8. Since I'm here, I might as well read you through my settings as well. So f32, 1 over 100 shutter speed, ISO 800, and my Yongno 560 flash is at 1 over 32 power. Just gonna keep doing this and we keep getting shots. So now I actually want to try getting some slow motion video of the splash going on. And the best slow motion camera I have right now is my phone at the moment, which shoots at 240 frames per second. But slow motion video that presents its own challenge in terms of lighting, if you want it to look good, because I can't use the flash anymore because that's not continuous lighting. So that's not gonna roll for video. So what I'm gonna try instead is, this is a Westcott Ice Light 2. It's a light, and I'm gonna try and put this behind where the flash is going on. So instead of that huge backdrop, backlighting whatever's going on, this is gonna be the backlight. Ooh, that looked quite promising. No, oh, the focus was all over the place.
Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of the cloth. Toughest part is getting the bloody exposure and focus to lock. Let's see. Nice. Okay, we need to do a vertical one for the gram. Okay, we got it. Awesome. Let's put this away, that's blinding me. So this has been Stay Home Photography Project of the day. What a drop. Photography, very stay home friendly indeed. To all of you who are watching this while quarantined at home, I hope all of you are doing fine. Do definitely leave me a comment down below, tell me how you're doing and what's it like over wherever you're at. Huge shout out to MyOps if I'm reading their name right for sending out this MyOps flash for me to have some fun with while I am stuck at home. If you're interested to pick one up for yourself, I'll leave some links down below. It most certainly makes this kind of photography much, much easier. I remember doing this quite a long time ago with, what was it, a syringe? It is almost impossible to get these kind of results without having the correct tools to help you pull it off. And for those of you who have been following the channel for a while, you might have noticed that this week's setup is a bit different. I'm not in my studio. I am in my cat's poop room in my parents' home. And that's due to the lockdown in Malaysia, which means I am stuck at home for now. So yeah, that's for those of you who are wondering. So that is pretty much it for today. Before you go, do check out these other videos of mine.